Unfortunate news coming from Jammu and Kashmir. Four civilians were killed and eight others were injured in a targeted terror attack in the Rajori district of Jammu and Kashmir. Officials said that at least two armed men resorted to indiscriminate firing at villagers in the Dangri village last evening. Deepak Kumar, Satish Kumar and Pritam Lal were killed and now a fourth victim has succumbed to gunshot injuries at the hospital. Now condition of the other injured is also said to be very critical. Let's listen in to what the police said. जो जानकारी प्राप्त हुई है उसमें दो आतंकी आए थे जिन्होंने तीन घरों को निशाना बनाया अपर डांगरी के गांव का इलाका था जो थोड़ा सड़क से हटके है जिसमें चार लोगों की कैजुअलिटी हुई है पांच और जख्मी हैं जो दो जख्मी यहां लाए गए हैं वो अभी स्टेबल हैं रजौरी में भी जो जख्मी हैं वो भी स्टेबल हैं तलाशी अभियान जारी है पुलिस सीआरपीएफ और आर्मी के ट्रूप्स ने उसे पूरे इलाके की घेराबंदी कर ली है तलाशी अभियान शुरू हो जाएगा बहुत जल्द हम कोशिश करेंगे कि इन दोनों को न्यूट्रलाइज कर दिया जाए सर अभी तो कुछ पता चला है कि कौन संगठन इसमें सब अभी इसकी जानकारी नहीं है अभी तफ्तीश करेंगे तो पता चलेगा Nazir Masoodi joins us for more details on this. Nazir, what are the details that the police has shared till now? And unfortunately, this comes in a series of targeted killings that we've seen recently. Yes, and the number of deaths has risen to four. Nine others are injured. Condition of few of the injured is stated to be critical. Uh, you know, helicopters were pressed into Serbs late last night, and some of the injured were shifted to Medical College Jammu for specialized treatment. Uh, soon after the incident, a massive, you know, manhunt was launched. As uh, the senior officer of uh, police said, that army, police, and the CRPF have launched joint operation. But it is a hilly area. What we uh, know so far is that two heavily armed uh, militants they came down from the forest and they uh, entered into barge into the homes, uh, residential houses, three residential houses in Upper Dangri village. And resorted to indiscriminate firing, killing four civilians and injured nine others. Uh, this is one of the most horrible, horrible incidents which has happened in this area, which we don't remember happening for for last what two two decades. Remember, this area was completely free from militancy for last uh, for since 2003. But last year, uh, we saw a major encounter taking place in the Rajouri area for almost one month, in which nine soldiers were killed. And this year again in or you know August there was a major you know Sidaian attack on an army installation in Rajouri, in which five soldiers were killed. There were also few series of blasts in Rajouri as well early this uh, last year. Uh, so this incident where civilians being targeted because of who they are, their name, and the certain community being targeted, it clearly shows that they wanted to create trouble, not just killing innocent, but create a, a, a cause a communal strife. In fact, the groups, you know, uh, Sanatan uh, uh, Dharam Sababa has already called for a ban in Rajouri, which has been supported by the BJP and the trade groups of Rajouri. They have called for a complete shutdown against these killings in in Rajouri. This is the second incident of civilian killings in Rajouri over the last two weeks. On 16th of December, two civilians were killed and another was injured outside an army installation in Rajouri. Army initially said that the killings were carried out after a terrorist attack, but the locals say no; these people were killed in the army firing, and a probe is underway. But this killing has really shocked everybody. Locals are saying that how terrorists came, they barged into the houses and shot innocent people. It was a targeted attack to create fear and 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 to kill people because of their faith. That is the most horrible thing. And police on its part are saying they have. Launch a massive operation, and they are going to track down the attackers. But this clearly shows, despite the fact that police has said they have huge successes against militancy, the we see you know some people continue to you know die, and the threat of this militancy even has shifted to areas which have been free from militancy for many many years.